Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 127 residents interpreted this case of meningeal carcinomatosis as one of 65 cases during an eight-hour simulated on-call shift with a median score of 0 out of 10 and an overall average score of 2.98 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 6.09. At the same time, 0.93 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 26% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one which scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 68% of residents produce reports with critical errors. In this case, the history provided was altered mental status with a history of breast cancer. On the left, I have a non-contrast head CT, and on the right is post-contrast head CT. And as we scroll down, the non-contrast really looks pretty normal. We're not seeing much of anything. Um, all the sulci are pretty much symmetric, and the ventricles don't look enlarged. So really, we don't have much to go on on the non-contrast study. But on the post-contrast exam, the abnormalities are quite striking. On this image here, in the posterior fossa, the sulci are really enhancing a lot in the posterior fossa. And we see some enhancement, normal enhancement, along the dura of the tentorium, maybe a little even increase from normal but lots of enhancement within the sulci throughout the cerebellum. And as we look even higher, there are scattered other areas of enhancement that seem to be within the sulci. So what this could be is carcinomatosis with the history of breast cancer or meningitis, and it's all leptomeningeal enhancement extending all the way along into the deep sulci, um, given the history of altered mental status and breast cancer and no history of fever, the most likely diagnosis is leptomeningeal carcinomatosis. Mm -hmm.